I don't want to be a bulgy bride. You want to look better than your bridesmaids, too. <laughs> Worried about arms bulging. I want to lose weight here, here, and here, and here. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for bulging brides. Uh, here. Uh, Hold on, let, let me suck him. Okay, suck. breathe in, honey. Meet Michelle. She can't zip up her dress, and her wedding is just six weeks away. It, it looks like a back crack. <laughs> well, can you do it up? It's not no, moving. No, it's not. Did, you've got about three this? inches. What is that? Oh, I miss these Hello Susie's. And... Thanks, Mom. I've worked so hard on this wedding for the last year, and if I don't fit in this dress, it's ruin my wedding. How do you Farther. suck in your hips? Damn! Looks like Operation Puff and stuff. The back of her dress should say open 24-7. Let's get her. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. Tommy, you're a personal trainer. Hi. Vivian Bowman, nutrition specialist. Having some troubles? Yeah, I can't get my dress done up. Take this, keep track of everything you eat for one week. Everything? Everything, don't leave anything out. I have put on a lot of weight in the last two years. It fit me nine months ago. Uh-oh, <laughs> coordination. Horrible. Michelle is in for the struggle of her life. Not only at the gym, but also at the dinner table. No more carb loading for this bulging ride. She's stressing me out for no reason. Because I'm trying to fit into my freaking dress. What are we gonna do? Did we order the wrong dress? Oh my gosh. <laughs> when I put it on, it felt like me. It felt right. It's so sparkly and pretty, I love it. I just wanna fit in it. <sighs> we are getting married in just over six weeks. I tend to stress eat. I'm trying to fit into my dress because if I don't, then I probably won't come out of the room and then you'll have to marry your groomsman. I don't know. So I've been going through these photos for the wedding. They used to cycle competitively, and I would eat a lot of food, a lot of pasta, a lot of carbs. I was in really great shape, and the, I couldn't keep weight on me. And then I stopped cycling, but continued to eat. This is a day that we'll remember forever. And I want to look fantastic. Ow, that hurts. Ow, that dress doesn't fit me. I am not walking down the aisle. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Michelle's food diary was overloaded with processed carbohydrates, sweet treats, and piles of salty snacks. Michelle, take a look at your aisle of shame. Your food diary, horrendous. I call this platter sodium explodium. Mm. You love your salty foods. We caught you eating salty popcorn for breakfast. Yeah. That's like over 1,700 milligrams of salt right there. Salt makes you bloated. You had sushi. The soy sauce, just two tablespoons alone, that's over 1,700 milligrams. 7,700 milligrams of sodium. Guess how much sodium in one day you're supposed to be consuming? 7,000? As if. 2,300, less than one teaspoon. This is not only bad for your health, it's bad for your weight. Next platter, the carb loading queen. This is one month of your carbohydrate consumption. So we've got your pastas, your breads, your crackers, and this stuff adds up. Your pasta alone, 40 cups a month. 40 cups, wow, in one month, that's coming out to over 13,000 calories, about four pounds of fat on your body. Just with pasta, bread, and crackers? That's right. Now this platter I call the wall. As in when, you know, athletes hit the wall. You have a bit of a different wall that you hit around 3 p.m. now that you're in an office job. Yep. So you're consuming, what, like three or four of these mini chocolate bars a day? <laughs> yeah, but they're small. They're small, but they pack a punch. 80 of these a month. That's what that three or four a day adds up to. 4,000 calories. Fourth. 
Ah. Oh my god. That's over one pound of fat just in these mini chocolate bars each month. All right, well, let's go see Tommy and he'll tell us how your body shape is being affected by all of this stuff. Okay, let's go. It's actually really scary that I was eating this much without even realizing it. How you doing, Michelle? Good. Ready for that first weigh-in? Guess so. Bust, 37 inches. Waist, 32. Hips, 43. That's not good. Get you up on the scale. Let's see how much you weigh. Weight, 170 pounds. That's a big number. Take a look at the screen. Height, 5 foot 8, dress size of 10 to 14, weighing in at 170 pounds. Your body type is a pear shape. Michelle, meet Jean. Hi. She's going to help Michelle. you into your dress. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to do them halfway up because it's best not to push it. All right. As you can see, this is a strapless A-line dress, which is great if you're fuller on the bottom. It can camouflage some bulges. But what we have here is a dropped waistline that is way too tight. It's causing the dress to ride up in a very unflattering way. Also, of course, it's not doing up. We're not even halfway up. Makes me a little worried. We're gonna have to lose some inches through the waist, through your hips, through your back. You got a lot of work to do, young lady. I know. It's time to stop that carb loading and no more 3 p.m. candy binges. Our job, get you moving, get you active, get you fit, and most importantly, make sure you look great on your wedding day. In six weeks, we're gonna tone up Michelle's flabby upper body, trim down her waistline, and melt inches off her hips. I'm scared and terrified, actually, that I won't fit into this dress in six weeks' time. How you doing, Michelle? Wet. We're open rain or shine. So today, I'm gonna see what you're made of. We're gonna start with skipping the foreplay. Follow me. You don't skip much, do you? No, this is hard. Uh-oh. Coordination, horrible. Skipping the foreplay. <laughs> Never something I enjoy doing, whether it's here or elsewhere. Push back. Oh. And all the way up, good. Keep it going. She died out pretty quickly. Uh, seems to lose focus extremely fast. What the hell? Well, can't do the rings of pain without the ball and chain. Her attitude is great. Um, she seems like she has a lot of energy Good. while she's going. Two. Ready to roll down the aisle? No. Just to there. Oh. I want you to drop your hips. My abs are, lack thereof, were. And one. <laughs> My stomach was shaking like crazy when I was going down and then trying to come back, not easy. You need to really work on your cardio. You don't have a lot of upper body strength. It's gonna progressively get harder and harder. Michelle's in for the surprise of her life when she sees what I've got in store for her. We've got a little workout to do. <laughs> we caught you eating salty popcorn for breakfast. Yeah. A diet full of processed carbs and salty foods is keeping Michelle's dress from zipping up. And there are only six weeks until she says, I do. How do you Farther. suck in your hips? Been taking a look at your chart. Uh-oh. Seems you've gained 45 pounds over the last three, four years. Yeah. Well, keep eating chocolate, keep loading up on carbs, no activity, that's gonna happen to you. This is what you could look like. Oh. <laughs> Getting married this year, I'm pretty sure neither you or your fiance wants you to look like that in the next few years. No. Oh my God. All right. Fitness, nutrition, Make that a part of your life, you can look like this. Oh, that's much better. Wow. Think you have what it takes? Definitely. Well, we're about to find out. Come with me. Okay, Michelle, we're gonna get started with mountain runners. Now, your knees are coming right up to your chest. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> Her cardio is completely shot, endurance is shot. Um, her form goes to crap um, very quickly. Oh. Come on, you got 10 more seconds. You need a new watch. Functional core exercise. She loses her breath pretty quickly. 
and I'm just gonna try and keep pushing, 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 and see how much she takes. Come on. Just a second. You want skinny, Michelle? Yes. Okay, I got a tip for you. There's not very much we're gonna do that's gonna be easy. But if you do it, it's gonna work. All right. I know she's gained 45 pounds in the last three to four years, but she used to be a competitive cyclist. Hopefully I can get her back so she's on pace once again, and you know, can do different activities that she enjoys. Knees coming in, turn your hips, kick out. Let's go. I'm not that coordinated. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Really, it was really, really tough. What's rule number one? Ugh, I'm tired of your rules. <laughs> You've got a long six weeks ahead of you. Oh. Michelle, let's talk new food. Okay. You're not a big breakfast eater. Don't really have time in the morning for breakfast. But you know what? This is easy, and you just drink it down. You can even take it to go. We've got a peach smoothie. That's half a cup peaches, one serving of yogurt, half a cup of cottage cheese, one tablespoon of sweetener, and some water. And you're done. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Four slices of salmon sashimi, spinach gomai, miso soup, edamame, and sodium reduced soy sauce. Dinner, two cups of vegetables, half a cup of brown rice, none of that white stuff, and you can either have four ounces of chicken or 10 prawns. Hmm. Coming up to a time when there's going to be showers and parties and friends are going to want to take me out and it's going to be tough. Yeah, I have to work really hard at it. Bridal shower, 40 women. She's definitely cheating. I smell chocolate. <laughs> I've got a gift for you next time you want to eat something like that. Think of this. Oh, oh no. That's yours. Oh. It's me not fitting into my dress. Oh. Grab three of your friends. We've got a little workout to do. Oh. Facing that way. Go! Pick it up with your teeth. There you go. Tommy interrupted my bridal shower. And then to bring me here and do exercises, well, at least my mom and my sister and Marika got to uh, experience what I've been going through. Come on, ladies, let's go. Run it, come on. Cheese spread, salty foods, definitely not on her meal plan. Considering she can't fit into her dress right now, it's, it's definitely not gonna work. Go get it. That chocolate cupcake is finally coming out of her. Ladies, you have to help Michelle out. She's got to fit into her dress that can't even zip up right now. I think I got the message across today. I'm pretty sure chocolate is not going to be in the equation, unless it's named Tommy Europe. Next, wait. Michelle taps into her inner bridezilla. I'm trying to fit into my freaking dress. I caught Michelle cheating on her meal plan covered in chocolate. Now, it's time to weigh in on the damage. How you doing, Michelle? Good, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Shouldn't have ate that chocolate. Bust, 36 inches. You're down one inch. Waist, 30. Down two inches. Hips, 42. Down one inch. Weight, 165 pounds. You've lost five pounds. I've still got some work to do, though. You've got a lot of work to do, mm -hmm. and you've only got three weeks to do it in. We need some motivation. You're going shopping with Jean for a bikini for your honeymoon. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Jean. Just thinking about putting on a bathing suit right now, that's not good. Yes. That's scary. 
you're a bit of a pear shape, which means that you're fuller on the bottom than you are on top. So we want to find something that's more patterned or brighter on top to balance out your body shape. How are you doing, Michelle? You ready to come out? Ah, this is a halter neckline, which works really well for you because it elongates the body. However, poor shorts are very hard to pull off. It's a little bit longer in the leg, which means that it's cutting into your thighs and making your thighs actually look bigger than they actually are. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. No. Get back in there. It's not working. This is the right size for you. Yeah, it's the right size. But it's definitely the style is not right. It's too low, which makes you muffin over the top a little bit. Also, the leg is cut really low, which makes your legs look shorter than they actually are. I think you were right. This bathing suit encompasses everything that we were looking for. It's a halter neckline, so it elongates your body. The top is brightly colored, so all eyes go to your top and not the bottom. And this bottom fits great. This is the one, definitely. So I don't know what to do because I don't have time to make our wedding favors. I don't have time to coordinate stuff for the wedding because I'm trying to fit into my freaking dress. She's driving me up the wall. I mean, She's bugging me about everything to do with the wedding. I'm doing everything that I can, and she's stressing me out for no reason. Definitely time for Josh to get his ass in gear. Are you gonna be sick? Yeah. Next. Come on, Josh, man up. And it's Michelle's moment of truth. Oh, Michelle? Yeah? I'm tired of your rules. Huh, <laughs> you got a long six weeks ahead of you. Oh. Michelle has been hitting the gym and fighting her carb cravings for nearly six weeks because I don't want to look like this. Michelle, Josh, your fiance used to be a writer. So we're going to see what she's got. I've been kicking her butt for the last six weeks. You're going to see how much she's got in the tank, too. For your partner challenge today, we're going to be going on a 10K ride, straight uphill. Can you handle it? Sure. I've never seen somebody shocked at being in the lead before. <laughs> Come on, Josh. I don't think I can make it. We lost a soldier along the way. Uh, Josh wasn't feeling too well. Are you gonna be sick? Yeah. I guess he needs to get in the gym. Is he all right? No, well, he's not doing good. How you feeling, Josh? Oh, I'm good. I'm just really out of shape. How are you going without me? At the beginning of this whole process, everything was very difficult for Michelle. But uh, today showed that she can get through things. She can withstand a lot. It feels really good to be back on a bike and to be actually riding well on a bike. I mean, I was huffing and puffing when I came up to the top, but it feels really good. Let's go, it's you and you against the world. My legs. Keep going. I wonder how Josh is doing. Think more rested than us. Thanks for the ride. Oh. Woo. Congratulations. Thanks. We made it. Yeah. You did great. Thank you. I mean, six weeks ago, do you think you can make it up this far? No way. Now the ultimate test is going to be seeing if you fit into that dress. Yeah, no kidding. Hello. Where did you come from? Partner challenge was hard work. <laughs> that wasn't an easy hill to climb. I mean. For some, it was hard work. <laughs> For me, yeah. You didn't quite make it up there, did you? Your bride there did fantastic. She did do good. Thanks, son. And how's Michelle doing today? I'm good, Tommy. Well, you're looking a little nervous, but definitely very good. <laughs> Bust, 36 inches. All right, down one inch. Nice work. Waist, 29. Well, that makes me happy. Michelle, that's three inches. Impressive. Yeah. Mm. Hips, 41. Down two inches. Wow. Not too bad. 36, 29, 41. Weight, 161 pounds. Down from 170, you lost nine pounds. I'm happy about that. So great numbers. Good to see if it registers now. <sighs> OK, Michelle, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, Michelle? Yeah. OK. You doing okay? You did them all up? Yeah. How's the progress going in there, ladies? 
One second, guys. We're just fixing the hair. <laughs> As a surprise, I invited Michelle's mom and friend to see the results of all her hard work. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look at you. Hello. Oh, oh, stunning. Looking like a princess there. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Jean, tell us about it. Remember in the beginning when we could only do up the zipper maybe about this much? I was very worried, but now it went up with absolutely no problems. She looks like an hourglass, a complete difference. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Proud of you, very, very happy. Thanks. I have loved this dress from the moment I put it on and I was devastated that it didn't fit me. I'm so happy right now that it fits. It is really, really hard to fit a tight bodice. It's hard to lose weight in this area, but she totally did it. She looks like a statue of a Greek goddess. I'm so proud of her. She's happy, she's excited again. Fitness is now part of her life. Hopefully she'll get Josh on the right track as well. Michelle overcame her bad food habits and hit the gym hard. She lost nine pounds and six inches, and she'll look stunning on her wedding day. This experience has completely changed me. The way I look at food is different. The way I look at exercise is different. I actually look forward to going to the gym now. I am so excited for my wedding day. I'm definitely gonna be walking down the aisle. Josh won't have to marry the closest girl next to him. Oh no, he will, but it'll be me.